In this video, we are constructing a triangle given the length of all three of its sides. As in my previous videos, I like to start by drawing the longest side. So here, I'll start by measuring out 13 centimetres. Now, we know the third vertex needs to be six centimetres from this end of that side, so six centimetres from here. But I can't just grab a ruler and measure out six centimetres. I don't know what angle to measure at. For example, do I measure out six centimetres in this direction, or six centimetres in this direction, or in this direction? We just don't know. So, I'm going to use my compasses here. I'll measure out the compasses to six centimetres, like this. I'm going to place the compass needle at this end of the 13 centimetre side, like that. And then I'm going to draw an arc down here. Every point on this arc is six centimetres from that point there. That's how compasses work. So we know this vertex is going to be somewhere on this arc, but we also know that this vertex needs to be 10 centimetres from the other end of the side. So I can measure out 10 centimetres on my compasses, position the needle over on that side, and draw out an arc from there. Everywhere on this arc is 10 centimetres from this end of the side. Everywhere on this arc is 6 centimetres from this end of the side. Now, we know that our triangle's third vertex needs to be 10 centimetres from here and 6 centimetres from here. Therefore, it must be on both arcs. In other words, it is right here at this point of intersection. So I can just join this point to the other two vertices like this. Notice that this is six centimetres long. And notice that this is 10 centimetres long. And there we have our accurately constructed triangle. Let's just label the lengths. There's 13 centimetres, there's 10 centimetres, there's six centimetres, and we're done. Remember, do not rub out your construction work. Leave it on the page.